Right, <clears throat> now the timing case has been prepared for fitting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some oil down the crankshaft um, and uh, I shall probably put some oil in the oil pump to, to uh, prep the oil pump, prime the oil pump. And I'm going to put some oil down the uh, crankshaft to, to uh, make sure you know, there's a bit of oil in the crankshaft. So basically, when the engine is finally started, you know, there's as much oil already uh, there as possible. Of course, we are using assembly lube, um, but, uh, you know, it's good, obviously, to have the oil as early as possible. So I've got my slightly adapted uh, um, filler. <laughs> can't even think. I can never think of the name. can't think of the names of things when I'm on video. Uh, but it's obvious what it is and um, so I'm just going to put I've got and this is uh, I use this this is Morris Morris and it's run it golden film running in oil and I always I always use this I'm not saying it's the best I want to start a big discussion on oils it's the one I use because um, it's made for older engines it's specifically for running in so the idea is that they'll you know hopefully that will minimise any problems with uh, smoking, which can be caused if the if the piston rings don't bed in properly. So that's what I use. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some down the crankshaft, which of course is hollow, and it does have a big, uh, like a big reserve in the middle of it. Like it has a big, uh, like a cavern. Okay, just. Before we go any further, before I actually fitted the timing case, I revised the torque that I did up the camshaft nut and the worm drive for the oil pump on the crankshaft. Because um, I, I've, I looked in the, in, in the manufacturer's workshop manual and there's no, uh, set, there's no torque settings for those two nuts. And so uh, I asked a friend and they said, oh yeah, yeah, I think uh, it's 15... Uh, camshaft is 15 foot pounds the nut and there's 20 foot pounds on the uh, worm drive for the oil pump. Oh, fine okay so I did that and and that was on a previous video and then someone wrote in and said well actually Chris um, I've got your manual this is my manual and uh, in your manual uh, you <laughs> you say that you should set the camshaft nut to 20 foot pounds and the worm gave the oil pump to 35 foot-pounds left-hand thread. <laughs> and this is my, my own manual. And I went, oh, yeah. And I forgot that what I did was, when I, when I did the manual, I wrote up, I, I rang Andover Norton, and I think they recommended these settings to me, which I'd completely forgotten about. So then I recently asked my friend, and he said, yeah, and he gave me those. And I'd forgotten I'd already you know got the the figures and so what i did was this is important obviously before i put the casing on i then um tightened up the camshaft nut to uh, 20 foot pounds and i tightened up the uh worm you know, the, the worm drive on the crankshaft to 35 foot pounds because i i didn't think they when i when i did them up i thought they weren't um like they weren't tight enough um but you know those are the settings i've been given so that's what i stuck to um yeah so just looking back at the, this is my manual uh which, which i think is, is worth getting what i will say is that the the videos are far more detailed because you can put so much more info into uh the um uh you know into a video um, but I still think you know it's worth. I still think it's worth having this. Well, you know, genuinely, not just saying that, you know. Um, but there is much more detail in these videos. But I think between the book and the videos, uh, you know, there's then you can't go wrong. The advantage of, of course, this is this covers the whole bike, the suspension, and you know, etc., etc., electrics, blah blah blah. Whereas what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just covering the engine, whereas uh, and the gearbox. Whereas this is uh, you know, the brakes and, and everything. Anyway, uh, yeah, which is available from all good bookstores. Um, just put my name into the Amazon search bar or eBay search bar or whatever, and hopefully this manual should come up. Right, we're getting ready to uh, fit the 
timing case now and uh, so I've given everything a generous lubrication uh, I, I filled the um, crankshaft with oil as far as I can I, I've prepped the oil pump with oil and then I've given a generous uh, lashing of oil all over the pinions and the chain and so on and the sprockets and the uh, tensioner blade to make sure everything's got a good bit of oil uh, to begin with then um, we've got the uh, um, casing ready and and we've put some oil we put some oil on the two uh, shafts on the side of the two shafts that's going to have the oil seals running on them and i put oil on them and i put oil on the shafts because we don't want them running dry when they're first uh, fitted but if you notice obviously if you remember one seal faces like inwards and one faces outwards so um when we put the crankshaft through this oil seal, that's fine because the nose will just open that oil seal, it'll just go in no problem. But we're putting the shaft in like backwards from this oil seal, so the lip is facing us, it's facing the shaft, and it's very easy to damage the lip of this seal as we try and get it onto the camshaft. So there's this very simple little tool here, a little spigot, like chamfered spigot, and that simply screws into the end of the camshaft like so that's it and because it's chamfered when we come to put the casing on it will uh, slide over and and open out and not damage the oil seal I, I did once um, I did once fit uh, an engine without this little tool and sure enough I did damage this oil seal going into the point cover uh, and I had to take it off again and, and put a new oil seal in. So a simple little tool that, but really an important one. So I'm just going to double check everything's okay. Then we're going to put some well seal on the mating surfaces. I'm going to put some well seal on this uh, very important little seal here. And I'm going to put some well seal on where it mates uh, here because to, in an effort to give us maximum oil pressure so i'm going to stop now put the well seal on and then we should be ready to actually uh, fit the uh, timing case which should be exciting right i'm getting i'm just getting ready now to actually put the timing case on the crankcase but um, we've ordered some new uh, stainless uh, allen screw uh, screws to put the case on as you would do to replace the original uh, flat screw ones but of course they're not quite right so the originals you've got four short you've got seven medium and you've got one long and I might be able to see there's not much difference actually in the lengths but but these are definitely shorter than the mediums and the long one is longer than the mediums what have we got so we've got four short ones that are the same length as the short ones, so that's good. But then we've got, uh, what is that, eight very long ones, which are even longer than the long ones. So we've got no medium, and the long one is even, you know, and even these are even longer than the long ones. So, uh, you know, which is kind of... You know, I'm afraid sort of par for the course these days. I'll go through uh, what, uh, which ones fit where in, in a minute. I think off the top of my head, I think the short ones, the short ones go here, and then the three uh, around the uh, camshaft. I think the long one, it's obvious, it's on the. You know, because the casing is much thicker, it's one of these down here that's longer, and then all the rest are mediums. Anyway, um, right, we'll get on anyway with uh, we're putting the casing on. As I say, it might well be that we just use the four short ones for now, and then come back uh, later on. We're making sure that the dowels, we've got two dowels here, make sure that they're in position. Very important. Get the gasket around the right way, of course, always helps. Slide it over the dowels, and there we go. This hole here, of course, is for where the wires go through from the 
points and then go up uh, to the ignition cores etc okay so that's all in place the gasket we've got our little adapter on uh, we've got the oil in on um, yeah dub, double check yes we have that little oil seal in place okay so then pick up the casing and we're going to pop it on then on that camshaft little adapter yeah and then it'll line up with the intermediate uh, shaft there we go and it's on yeah yeah that's it okay great and then I can undo this little remove the little thing you see and so that seals now slid on without any damage so we're all in place so I'm going to put the four uh, short ones in and one uh, is it the yeah, and I think it's the three round the uh, camshaft. Mm -hmm. And the long one, yeah. Whoops, the long one it goes there. So I say it's fairly obvious. Then the rest are all mediums. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these loosely, put those four in. Right. And there we have it, the uh, timing case uh, sort of loosely fitted, which uh, is a big milestone and uh, makes me feel <laughs> very, very happy. And I've just fitted, I've loosely fitted the points cover just, uh, you know, just to make me feel better, really. So it looks, uh, you know, it looks so nice. Uh, obviously, the cover needs polishing back up a bit um, because uh, where I've been, you know, I've got my fingers and that all over it, but it's going to look great. Uh, and indeed, the um, these screws are way too long. Um, I've just about got one in the, where the long one should go, and even then it's touch and go. But where all the mediums are, these are far too long. There's no way they uh, they start grounding way before the end. And a lot of these holes, if not all of them, are blind holes. So if you screw them in, all you do would be to crack the crack the casing, which would be a complete nightmare.